for you. Can I please get a, oh jeez Louise, can I please get a skinny latte, a regular? Yep. Can I also please get a Wiltshire ham and cheese toasty? Plain, I'm afraid. Um, can I please get the cheddar and tomato then? Have you got those? Tomorrow, yeah. yeah, thank you. Anything else? No, that's it, thanks. Lovely, just drive around for me. Thank you. Hello you lovely lot, welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you're new here then welcome. So I'm pulled up with my Costa Toasty, honestly Costa Toasties are just the best. So just a quick explanation as to why I am doing this video which I don't actually think I've seen anybody do before. By the way I look so wrapped up, I've got like a really cute Zara bodysuit on but it's so freezing. I've got like my Zara scarf and this um, zip up hoodie. So basically I did the whole true or false thing on my story, cut a long story short, some that obviously knows that I have additional work to just influence in which I don't really understand why they would say that because um, it's not anonymous or anything and they were a bit rude said something like you hide your job and then I just thought you know what I'm just gonna address it because I've seen it come up before so people obviously in my local area have maybe seen me in work so I have a job like a real job or like average job whatever you want to call it I work in admin and that's all I'm gonna really say I don't want to say the company or like where I work but I used to work there full time. I've worked there for a very long time and I used to work there full time. Then I reduced my hours when influencing picked up, reduced them again and then recently reduced them again. So I actually only do two evenings a week. I absolutely love my job. I love my colleagues. They literally support everything I do. They watch everything, which is just the nicest thing ever. And I really like the work. Like it gives me a bit of normality when like influencing can be a bit of a lonely world. It just gives me a bit of normality. It keeps me grounded. I love my job. If if Instagram was to disappear overnight I know my bills would be paid so that for me is like security and I just like to have it like truth be told I earn most of my money influencing on YouTube on Instagram and this is my main source of income and if I really wanted to I could completely leave my now part-time job but I just don't want to I really like it it's a bit of security and I posted it on my story and I explained in full like not just like short like I just have now but I was inundated and I mean literally so many messages of people saying like oh my god if you weren't already relatable like you're so much more relatable now like it's so nice to see that you're saying these things and like how you like to have job security because I did say how I hope these youngsters I mean I'm nearly like 27 and when I was like 15 16 17 influencing was not a thing like I didn't even have Instagram until I think I was 20 19 or 20 like I did not have Instagram until later on I was basically just saying I hope anybody who is a to do influencing as a job does understand the importance as well of having like a bit of job security maybe doing something else so yeah people were saying I was wise I was relatable and it just got me thinking like do people not normally find influencers relatable like is that what people are trying to get at do people think like their heads are in the clouds and I just really wanted to know people's opinions so I decided to put a little question box on my stories and I basically said let me know your unpopular opinions about influencers in influencing and any pet peeves that you've got with influencing as well honestly there is so many pet peeves that like, I did not realize influencers piss you all off so much like I genuinely didn't realize and I really hope I don't fall into that category but I did think it was a good idea for a video because I am an influencer as we say is this a blocking light oh there we go um because I am an influencer or whatever I do feel like I can comfortably talk about this kind of thing judging by how many things were sent in you guys obviously are dying to talk about it too so I just thought what a good idea for like a chatty video which is something I've wanted to film for ages so I'm gonna eat my um cheese and tomato toasty how good does that look and then I'll be back because this isn't a mukbang and nobody wants to see me with crumbs around my mouth right so we're basically just gonna get straight into it it doesn't really need any more of an introduction than that one thing I'm gonna show you though is how funny is this I have printed off typed up and printed off all of the points there is three of these pages like three of these pages and that is narrowed down because I think I had like 300 points at the start and I managed to narrow it down to like 50. I really want to read them all out so I'm going to try and not talk too much about each individual one because I think it's more important that you hear what they are but I am going to discuss it a little bit obviously because I can give like an other side sort of view to it all. Some of them have made me laugh like I'm not going to lie some of them have really made me laugh. You've probably guessed this one but the most popular one at the moment is 
influencers being in Dubai whilst there is a global pandemic or influencers mainly being in Dubai. I've also seen people in the Maldives and I've seen people in Mexico, I think mainly as well. A lot has also come up about influencers thinking like they don't need to abide by the rules or the guidelines and that they are just above all of that. And honestly, I can totally understand where people are coming from because it is actually crazy how we have got hospitals full of COVID patients and nurses, doctors, NHS staff working their arses off and then you've got like 300 people grouped together at a pool party in Dubai like that is just my personal opinion because know this if you've followed me for a while but I have a condition called health anxiety off the back of having um severe sepsis and being hospitalized so to me like I panic with like the pandemic and stuff like that and as much as I think people should live their lives and do what they want I think they kind of need to read the room a little bit and understand that right now we'd all love to be on a beach somewhere but gotta have a little bit of respect haven't you and yeah I can totally see why people people would get a bit annoyed over that. And influencers not being transparent about gifted ads or affiliate links, it drives me crazy. So if you don't know, I'm sure most of you do know or have gathered, but if something is an ad, if an influencer states that something is an ad, they are being paid for that post. They're not essentially being paid to say certain things, but they are being paid for the post. If somebody puts gifted, they have been gifted the items, there's no money involved. They've been given those items for free, but they aren't actually being paid on top of the gifting and then affiliate applies to mainly like swipe up links like if you see people doing wish lists or ask somebody to link something on their stories nine times out of ten it will be an affiliate link where if you swipe up and buy it directly through that link that influencer will get a tiny bit of commission and by tiny bit i literally mean like 80p is not a lot at all I must admit I am fucking crap at doing it and like this year I'm really trying to be better but I feel like I do it correctly but sometimes when I'm like talking about something like you know me I like to go on so if it's a makeup product I talk about it for like more than just one story I like to show you and there's a few stories so sometimes I only put it on like the first few and then by the time I get to the end of it like I've forgotten to put like ad or gifted or whatever like I just forget and I'm sure other influencers are the same okay next one and um this drives me up the fucking wall like it really winds me up so there's a lot around influencers promoting health products or services that genuinely aren't good for you there's another one about promoting diet shakes diet teas diet shots and everything that is bad for you so let me just have my say on this i if i see an influencer or a big celeb or anybody promoting any type of shit like that they instantly get unfollowed and honestly I cannot recommend you doing that enough like if you see anybody promoting that like to me no money in the world is good enough to make me want to feed people absolute bullshit and these teas these shots like honestly I have been offered like a lot of money to promote a certain brand of these shots that you take every morning and they are so bad for you they literally suppress your appetite they're full of really bad chemicals and sugars and they're just a load of bollocks and they do not work and i assure you 9.5 times out of 10 that influencer or celeb has not tried those products and it is so damaging because i i was saying this to my mother earlier actually when we were just laughing about some of the questions um i've never like struggled with my weight like when i was a younger like 14 15 16 year old weight was never something that I struggled with because I've always been really athletic and sporty but at the same time I was extremely flat chested like you all know I've had a boob job but I was extremely flat chested and if I'd have seen if I had Instagram and I'd have seen a celebrity saying if you take a shot of this every single day it will give you boobs in a month like I 100% as a 16 17 year old would have bought into that so it's absolutely fucking dangerous and I also agree that it should be banned and these products shouldn't even be made on that a little bit more by the way you all know how much I love Holly Hagen aka Holly from Geordie Shore and she used to be somebody that promoted this sort of thing and she has done a complete u-turn like honestly i love that girl so much like i know her now on a bit more of a personal level and she is such an inspiration because she is genuinely so forward and so honest and so brave for putting herself forward and saying look do not fucking take these like i know i used to promote them but it is wrong and she's the same as me she'll unfollow anybody that promotes that kind of stuff and she's actually just qualified in nutrition and learning and taking the time to educate herself about nutrition and she's doing a lot now um with a pt so she does a lot of fitness stuff and i think she's amazing so if you're looking for some genuine inspiration and somebody who really you should look up to i would definitely follow holly if you don't already i mean she has like millions of followers so you probably do but i just wanted to 
to mention that because I think she deserves a bit of credit because she is so brave. Influencers say they work so hard taking pics but they have never worked a real job on a salary with a boss in an office with hours and having to request annual leave etc. So until like three days ago you guys probably thought that was me like you all probably thought oh she just does videos like she sits on her arse all day I mean if you've watched my morning routine you will know that I do not sit on my arse all day but I am somebody that has always worked from the age of when I was 15 I'm not gonna lie taking pictures and trying to get creative content and trying to be consistent with it it is hard work like I know we are so lucky because we get to call this work but it is hard work and some days like you don't feel your best for example some days i can go into like my office job and everything that could possibly go wrong just goes wrong for me and it's a really shit day and i come home and i've had a really shit day at work just because influencing isn't your typical job doesn't mean you don't have hard days like there are difficult days like take it from somebody who does both i just feel like influencers only show the good and it's an unobtainable fairy tale life i must say i don't think this applies just to influencers like even like all of like the normal people or like my local friends or like whatever that I follow nobody shows like their really shit days like at the end of the day Instagram is a highlight reel of your life like nobody is gonna put all of their bad shit on Instagram like they're just not going to but this is a big one when an influencer's stories or feed are just completely full of ads you don't want to constantly be advertising something like I mean I don't know anyway, maybe you do as an influencer I don't know but for me i like to show like my real life on there like me and the dog me and james like and every sort of few posts maybe will be an ad or something but only stuff that i genuinely love but yeah i feel like because the money can be really good it's probably quite easy to fall into that trap of just taking on all of this work there's a lot around this as well wearing full designer and go to the most expensive places you cannot influence people who cannot afford that i think in life whenever we all get something new that we love be it clothes a car whatever we like to tell people and we like to show people and we like to take pride in how hard we've worked for these things and i do follow like the odd influencer who maybe excessively share their designer things but all you have to do is just press the unfollow button like if you feel like you cannot afford that and that kind of gives you negative vibes just literally unfollow people like it's so easy to do and honestly like i'm an influencer or whatever you want to say but I couldn't afford to buy like a new Fendi bag every week like absolutely not yeah I hope you don't feel like all influencers are like that some influencers come across overly self proud now it's a job where you have to be confident like you've got to be confident and comfortable in yourself like I feel like people would maybe think that about me like I don't know maybe you guys can tell me but I do feel like maybe people would think that about me self proud maybe overconfident but i'm just a really open book like i will talk to anyone about anything and i hope i don't come across that way but you do have to be confident and i do kind of get what you mean like some people can maybe be a little bit too far that way but i guess they just ooze confidence and there's a lot of people like that who aren't influencers that i know as well like there's a lot of people who are maybe a bit full of themselves that aren't influencers i think you just get certain people like that when you see an influencer lose their authenticity and turn into perfect robots i agree with this one i think just literally no matter how many followers you gain just stay true to yourself like i know people follow me for makeup because that was literally how it all started for me like i had 300 followers and i used to do tutorials on my stories like if you've been here that long then you're an og and then i started sharing a bit more of my tomboy style and and yeah i think if you just fall into just agreeing to everything a bit too much you do lose your authenticity and i think it's so important because that's the reason why people are following you in the first place buying into something an influencer recommends and when it arrives it's absolutely awful we are wasting our hard-earned money i genuinely trust your opinion so much because whatever you rave about i am always genuinely so happy with thank you so much for being so great can i just say so many of you are putting like little disclaimers after what you've said as though you're not aiming it at me and i just want you to know like no offense is being taken here whatsoever like this is just an open conversation that i really wanted to have so this is another one that grates on me <laughs> quite a lot i'm not gonna lie because i am like a makeup artist by trade so i try products i mean my skin as well you all know how much i love my skincare i try and test things so much before i would even recommend them to my mother or my friends so one thing i'm not gonna do is put it all over my story if i've not tried and tested it for you guys to go and buy and if it is something brand new and i decide to show you before i've used it if i think it's crap afterwards i will literally come and tell you like you know that but 
I do feel like in order just to get paid, maybe influencers would say something is good. A single product isn't for everybody. Like I'm sure there's something I've recommended that hundreds of you love that maybe one of you hasn't liked so much. And I really feel like you've got to believe in the products that like you're trying to push. Like not even trying to push. Like for me, I don't even try to sell things like all that hard. Like I just want to genuinely put out good recommendations for you. Okay they're getting quite juicy now so when influencers promote plastic surgery or fillers etc to people now you guys know i've had my boobs done and you guys have also seen me fill my face with a load of shit over the years a load of fillers and then you guys have also seen me get those fillers completely dissolved and go back natural which is exactly how my face my lips and everything is now now it's a really hard one because actually i think there's another question or another thingy here that says there's another thing here that says influencers not being honest about work that they've had done so it's kind of a lose-lose situation like you get something done you tell people because people are asking and then you've also got people saying like you're not telling people because you're not being honest so it is a really difficult one to touch on like for me and my experience I got my boobs done before I had Instagram and I just think it's great if you're open and honest about having work done because obviously it's not natural and I feel like otherwise it would be maybe putting an unrealistic thing in people's heads like if I literally when I got my nose job if I literally one day had my old nose and then the next day had this nose and I didn't say anything about it I mean you literally couldn't miss it because I had two black eyes but if I literally just came on Instagram and I looked different and then I was like no I've not had anything done to my face I could never be that person like I genuinely couldn't because I just think it's so important to be open and honest and that's why I love vlogging these things as well but yeah it's quite a fine line like you can either like promote it so much where you're almost convincing people to do it which I've never tried to do because I've paid for literally every single thing that I've had done with my own money I've gone to consultants that I've researched for so long but I know that you do get like higher up celebrities who will go abroad and have surgery and they've obviously had it for free and then they promoted it off the back of that I do think that's wrong because it's a health choice at the end of the day and there is massive risks as there are with every single other surgery so I do agree that they shouldn't hide it and they should be honest obviously if they want to like that is completely up to them like it is their body at the end of the day but also I think promoting it is completely wrong like if I've ever spoke about my surgeries which I have it's because people have asked me for advice and asked me to share my experience but I will always include little disclaimers saying like I paid for it in full and also I'm just sharing it with you just to document my experience I'm not in any way trying to say you need your boobs doing you need your nose doing you need your lips filling then you need them dissolving again like that is not what I try and do but yeah that's a bit of a touchy subject really because I'm someone that has had probably quite a lot of work done in comparison to other people it's all been for completely personal choices and not because somebody's offered it me for free if that makes sense really editing photos and giving unrealistic views of life and women's bodies guys I'm gonna put myself out on a stick right now and be completely honest and say I was once somebody who used to edit my photos i mean i edit my photos now there's a video on my youtube called how i edit my photos when it comes to like god that sun is annoying when it comes to like filters and lighting and all that kind of stuff but i used to be i'd say you know, like when i first started getting big with instagram i would like cinch in my waist a little bit and i would maybe smooth out my skin quite a lot and honestly i'm not embarrassed to say that because i have grown so much as a person and i genuinely wouldn't do that now and there's a few reasons why i can come out and comfortably say that and why i don't do it anymore and the first one is because you all see me in videos so what's the point in looking like hella different in photos when you all see me on youtube like you all see my body you all see like my bingo wings like do you know what i mean there's no point in me editing them and i honestly had this realization right when i was staying with my mother she lives in cardiff and she saw me doing it she caught me doing it over my shoulder and she was like just walking past me and she was so upset like she was so upset and i felt like i'd really let her down and i'd really disappointed her because my family have always celebrated women and being beautiful and how they are and yeah i feel like i'd really let my mother down so that's kind of where it stopped like i only did it for a short period of time because of pressure and maybe other people doing it and i used to smooth out my skin my freckles would go and like my freckles make me who i am like my freckles are literally my identity like i feel like if people were to think of me off the top of their heads it's probably one of the first things that they'd think of so yeah it was time to stop with all of that shit like i genuinely 
was damaging my own mental health but we should all just be so happy and confident in our own bodies and like i'm not gonna lie i haven't been recently but i'm on a little transformation right now as you all know and i'm working really really hard to feel my best like it's all about how i feel and even when i haven't felt my best over the last couple of months i still wouldn't have stooped that low again as to edit my photos because edit my body like i feel like i'm saying i completely put them at filter free because i don't because i like my feet to like all match but i wouldn't stoop so low as to edit my body anymore like i genuinely wouldn't do that because because i know i have like a lot of the younger generation following me and i just don't want to give off that vibe like you are all fucking perfect as you are like trust me okay next one it's a juicy one and i'm gonna get right involved with this oh she's got a caster over there cheers babe so this one says <coughs> drum roll please influencers charging money well it's just a pound sign but she obviously means money for their gym and or nutrition plans when they are not qualified pts hang on hang on a sec say it louder for the people in the back whoever said that please comment below because you are a babe thank you so much for bringing that up it is worse for me than the whole boom bod shakes diet teas like this is worse like anybody who is not qualified to give that fucking advice don't give it don't charge people for advice that you are not qualified to give and that is all i have to say about it like i am vlogging my fitness journey at the moment there is millions of disclaimers in my videos about how i'm not qualified like i do know my stuff when it comes to my fitness but i am absolutely not a pt and i'm absolutely not a nutritionist and i don't want anybody to do anything based on my advice like it's not advice that i'm trying to give and i'm not trying to sell anything like i'm paying for like a, this fitness plan this app and i'm filming it just so you can see my experience and how it changes my life but in eight weeks time when i finish this plan i'm not gonna think oh do you know what i could do my own like i'm so good at that i'm gonna put one together and i'm gonna sell it for 50 quid like absolutely not honestly the audacity people have to give out fitness advice like how to build a booty like booty guides like ab guides like nutrition plans like this is what i eat if you all eat this you'll look like me like it's such bullshit because literally however many billion million trillion people there is on the planet if we all ate the same thing and we all did the exact same fitness plan not one of us would look the same so it is just bullshit like we are all different and yeah people who are unqualified absolutely have no right to be selling that sort of stuff and it winds me right up influencers that don't show their normal life things they only show us the expensive stuff which we cannot relate to in my 6am morning routine i think i was like cleaning the kitchen or something and a girl messaged me like my dirty dish cloth my the floor or whatever i was using and she was like do you know how like nice it was just to see you in like some old pajamas like my pajamas were from primark and they're just so comfy like you know that pair you can't throw out because they're so comfy they did they're bobbly i was just in them in the morning and she was like it was so nice because you've not brushed your hair you would like not done up obviously at 6 a.m you're in like some old pajamas and you're wiping your kitchen sides down with the dishcloth and she said i was absolutely buzzing to see that like i was sat there with my brew and i genuinely felt like i was sat talking to one of my friends and honestly like that's what my life is like like i live with a joiner and a tree surgeon like my house is constantly full of like wood and shit so, like trust me and just feel like showing that normal day-to-day -day stuff is so important because that is literally our life i can show you me at glam events when they were happening i can show you me done up like this all the time i can show you me at expensive restaurants with james i mean we never go to nando so i probably won't really show that but yeah that is genuinely not my normal day-to-day -day life it really isn't so i do feel like it would be so much better for the world if influencers did show more of that normal stuff influencers have a responsibility whether they like it or not i reckon this would split the influencing world like i think you'll get people saying look you choose to follow me like i'm gonna do what the fuck i want with my life and i don't need to care what people think of me and that's you know an okay attitude to have like it's great if you don't care what people think of you but at the same time i do feel like personally i do have a bit of a responsibility as somebody with i don't know what have i got forty seven thousand followers on instagram i do feel like i have a responsibility which is why i was saying the other day like it's my 27th birthday on the 2nd of april and i really wanted to be in jamaica for my birthday is my dream like i'm still secretly manifesting it even though i know it's probably not gonna happen and although i probably could travel because just quarantine and i could go out there like i do feel like i have a responsibility 
not to unless it's something that everybody can do and it's completely safe so i do feel like the job does come with a sense of responsibility and it's just whether you want to acknowledge that and whether you want to accept it but this one was quite interesting no offense to you but insta gives off girls my age in brackets 29 so you're what two years older than me should have unlimited amounts of money i'm saving for a house and instagram pressures me to consume a lot and try the latest things how can i put this instagram is not real life at all and if somebody's buying a dior bag every other day that does not mean that you should also have the means to do that like i promise you please do not feel like that the worst thing we can do is compare ourselves i feel like what's worse than comparing the way you look is comparing where you're at in life with somebody else like honestly that is genuinely not what you should do whether that comes to money relationship and age i kind of feel you because i'm nearly 27 so we're not that much different in age but there are influencers who are literally 18 19 20 who have got like a nicer car than me and have got more designer stuff than me and yeah i get that but stay in your own lane like i love my my car like i literally love it so much um i drive a fiat 500x for anybody that doesn't know so glad it's a four-wheel drive it's like the bigger four by four version um because the fucking snow nightmare and i've got a four-wheel drive so it's great yeah stay in your own lane like you do not need to compare the way you look or the way you live your life or what you can and can't afford you know what why don't you turn it around and be like as soon as i've bought my house and i'm a couple of months into paying my mortgage i'm gonna save again and i'm gonna treat myself to that just kind of flip it on its head treat it as like a little reward for when you've got your house but please if anybody is watching this that feels the constant need to keep up with having big purchases just don't like life really isn't like that it's certainly not for me anyway i find it sad that influencers get a lot of free stuff yet the people who cannot afford it need it most now this i obviously totally empathize with like it is a bit of a tough time especially right now and there are people that can't afford things and maybe want things and then you see people who you know can afford things and are being gifted things but the way i look at it and this might change your perspective a little bit so i will get asked to do a post for a clothing company for example so they have to send me the clothes because that is my tools to fulfill that job now when i go into my office job two days a week they don't make me pay for the paper and the computer and the pens and the pencils I don't even use pencils so i don't know why i said that it was just the next thing that sprung into my mind but they are all things i need to fulfill that job and my boss doesn't make me pay for them so influencing i know it's like a taboo job to have but it is a job so if somebody wants you to fulfill a job they have to give you the tools to do that so that is just a little maybe different perspective for you to look at it but, but yeah i think if it's constant and you're constantly seeing it on stories when you know that there are people that are struggling it can be maybe a little bit of a kick in the teeth this absolutely made me howl like this girl's sarcasm made me laugh when influencers don't tell you where something is from even though everyone is asking sharing is caring my friend <laughs> that literally made me laugh so much honestly like i dm people asking where things are from and like sometimes i don't get a reply and i'm like I don't like want me to have it like i'm literally fuming but yeah i agree like influencing at the end of the day does what it says on the tin like you want people to buy things that you're showing or that you've got because that's you doing your job so i don't really understand people like that Gemma collins promoting the skinny pen which is insulin basically by the way if you don't know then later saying that insulin actually made her gain weight this was extremely damaging to the diabetic community diabulimia is an eating disorder where people with diabetes stop taking insulin purposely to lose weight she probably caused people some serious harm by saying this as she is an influencer with so many followers honestly i can't even comment on that so much because that skinny pen thing was another thing that wound me up and i come from a family where diabetes is in our family i just think that's fucking so irresponsible like that winds me up so much and i am so sorry to anybody who has diabetes and had to watch Gemma collins say that and think she said it in an article i think i've read it myself um yeah i'm really sorry for that irresponsibility it's just not on and influencers speak really insensitively like ignore my horrible skin when they've got one spot do you know what i've got a friend that 
not so much now but used to suffer with her skin quite a lot and i never said it on instagram i never said oh my god like ignore my horrible skin but we'd be sat getting ready for a night out and i'd been moaning about my skin if i had like a little blemish and her who suffered with acne would look at me and be like what the fuck definitely trying to be more sensitive to stuff like that influencers that don't acknowledge their followers don't reply to comments or messages if you message me on instagram you'll know i try to reply to every single thing but my issue is I literally write so much like sometimes I feel like the whole Instagram thing and have to write another message but I do feel like in order to like build that relationship with your followers or whatever like I definitely do try and reply to all of my comments somebody actually said to me like why don't I ever reply to my comments on YouTube and do you know what I didn't even realize that out like I always reply to Instagram did she just see that the bird just died i always reply to instagram always reply to dms and then i genuinely did just forget about youtube so i'm actively always replying on youtube now but yeah i just think it's nice just to get to know your followers a little bit and i think it's nice to show them that like you can just have a normal conversation that's what i think anyway this is so funny influencers that always post in a bikini or gym wear we want diversity this is so unrealistic surely you're not popping to tesco in your bikini we live in the fucking uk <laughs> that has literally made me laugh so much yeah um i tend to just post like general outfit posts but there are influencers that are specifically like body influencers if you like that show off like bikinis and gym wear and yeah i guess that is quite unrealistic unless you like live in australia or somewhere like that right there's a couple here that are juicy af and i know exactly what you're referring to but i'm just gonna read them out so we'll start with one of them when they talk about how hard their life is just be grateful i love molly may by the way so do i like i think she's great and i do feel like she gets a lot of unnecessary hate but this says but when she talks about her problems she really doesn't help herself she recently complains about having thick carpet in her apartment and i'm just sat there like molly this is not a problem i do think she gets a lot of unnecessary hate and this applies to everybody not just molly but i feel like if they're genuinely complaining like genuinely complaining about first world problems as me and my friends like to say don't think they help themselves like surely moaning about that kind of thing is just only gonna wind people up like surely you would know that There's another one as well along those lines that says influencers who talk about about their problems i will never get over misha grimes i really like misha by the way love her content on youtube i don't really follow her do i follow her on instagram i think i do but i think she's more of a youtube kind of girl never get over misha grimes crying about having to park i've watched this vlog and i was a bit like i will never get over misha grimes crying about having to pack her suitcase because it was stressful when she was jetting off to the maldives during the height of the covid pandemic honestly just cut that bit out of the video when you're editing like i think she's really good for showing literally everything in her vlogs but if you're gonna cry about the fact your holiday suitcase packing is stressful right now i feel like you just should have cut that out of your video and i think she has actually addressed this by the way guys okay this is the last one and i kind of touched on this on my instagram stories and a little bit earlier on when i was introducing the video influencer culture has stopped me this has come from a young girl by the way i had a little chat to her on instagram influencer culture has stopped me from wanting a real job as no job is good enough other than this oh this literally makes my skin crawl because ink aspirations to have a regular job like an amazing job but a regular job that isn't online and isn't to do with influencing is so important for the younger generation and i really hope like i'd love to go into schools maybe and talk about it but i really hope schools are implementing that and if somebody says like oh i want to be an influencer or whatever i don't know how schools react to that kind of thing because it wasn't a thing when i was in school but i hope they are saying okay that's cool but what else might you do as a backup plan like i really hope teachers are saying that and guys i'm not gonna lie it's an amazing job to have like it is such an amazing job i am so lucky like i work with brands that i have purchased from for years and i genuinely believe in it has given me so many opportunities in life i cannot even explain like i say i do also have a normal regular job that right now i am not willing to leave because it's security maybe one day i will go completely full-time and do influencing but that will be after i've been doing it for a hell of a long time like it's not something i just aspire to do 
and it's not the only career I ever see myself doing like I'm quite an intelligent girl pride myself on that so I have got other avenues in life but yeah I just really hope these youngsters know that having something sustainable because literally you don't know what you're earning from one month to the next and Instagram could quite literally disappear overnight like if the owners just decided now nah, we, we can't be asked of this app anymore we'll just get rid of it I mean the chances are that's not going to happen but what the fuck would you do then like genuinely what would you do then like you'd have all these people who wouldn't know what to do please do not feel like no other job is good enough like that's all i have to say like any job is amazing like job is a job at the end of the day so please don't feel like another job isn't good enough because it's not influencing and living a life that is just like completely free because that's not the case at all but yeah i really don't want anyone to think that influencing is like the best job that you can have and as much as it is amazing like who the fuck am i going to influence when i'm 60 years old do you know what i mean like it it will expire one day I think it's just important to know that no two jobs are the same and you definitely shouldn't compare like your average job which i don't even like that word because my actual average job i love more than anything and yeah influencing isn't the be all and end all i love it and i really pray to god i get to do it for as long as this universe lets me but it is not the be all and end all and it has its downsides like every single job well guys that is everything this has been asha's news thank you for tuning in no I'm joking i do literally feel like a news reporter though there was literally three pages of stuff there i have tried to get through everything the best i can and i hope i haven't gone on too much and i really do feel like we've covered everything there guys i feel like all of your pet peeves are out of the way all of the things that influencers do that may rub you up the wrong way i hope i've put like a little bit of a different perspective on it guys i'm home my battery died while i was in the car i can't even remember what i was in the middle of saying um oh yeah i wanted to say um that as long as i'm lucky enough to do this as a job like however long that is i will always like be myself like i don't know any other way to be and yeah i just want to be a positive influence i just want to say before i go that i hope you have enjoyed this video if enjoyable is even the right word i hope it's been informative and i hope it's found some common ground between like the influencing world and the non-influencing world and i hope it's made you understand that like influencers are genuinely just normal people like i hope you will think that about me and yeah if you think their life is in any way shape or form of more value than yours just because of what they do for a job then you're so wrong anyway i've got to go because um james's bacon is probably burning right now i will pop a link to my instagram down below of course as always so please do come and follow me on there in the meantime but otherwise i will see you all in wednesday's video bye